so you see here a simple picture they have shown a cmos inverter okay so inverter you know na logic inverter normal what you will do when you will give zero it will give you one and when you will give one you will get the zero so if you see that same circuit at transistor level you will find this type of logic there okay so you see what they are showing there one pmos is there that is connected to vdt and one nmos is there that is uh, connected to ground okay now we'll see how this will work as a inverter so when you apply a logic zero at the input okay so this this transistor is getting activated okay so it has a resistor so vdd will come and charge this capacitor so you will get 5 volt right similarly when you are applying zero okay so when you are applying zero so whatever charge is there in this capacitor okay it will get discharged so what output you will get here zero so this is the property of uh, inverter right when you are applying zero you are getting one and when you are applying one you are getting zero so that is what they are trying to say from this uh, you see the layout diagram for that what is this this is pmos and uh, this is metal they are running in order to make a contact okay this is a uh, vdd okay this is active okay uh, where active and poly will meet their transistor will form right where active and poly will overlap no. there there you will uh, uh, their transistor is formed so what is this this is n well they are telling this is vdd this is polysilicon yeah this is not metal okay this is polysilicon they are running okay now this is polysilicon polysilicon and this is active okay so here transistor is formed similarly this is poly this is active so here transistor is formed see they have shown with dotted lines right so this is the transistor and these are some they have added some you can say contacts okay so they have added many contacts here and from here you will apply a input and your uh, this is the drain of the pmos you see drain of the pmos they have connected to the drain of the nmos so they have connected here with the metal okay here you need a metal so that is what they are trying to say this is cmos inverter layout diagram this is schematic diagram okay inside your chip your c your cmos will looks uh, your uh, inverter will look like this or resistive load inverter <laughs> so basic inverter transistor with source connected to ground and load resistor connected from the drain to the positive supply rail so now before that in cmos inverter what we did we used pmos transistor here right okay now instead of that we are using one resistor that is pull up resistor okay so output is taken from the drain and control input connected between gate and ground so they are taking output from this terminal okay and they are applying input here fine now transistor can be used as pull up device so you can use pull up device as a transistor also but they have used resistor so resist resistors are not easily formed in silicon using highly resistive undoped polysilicon they occupy too much area okay so why they are telling that why they are not using uh, uh, resistor in instead of uh, transistor like pmos so what they are telling that uh, if you need to implement model a resistor in form in uh, in form of flares so you have to use polysilicon okay so in that polysilicon uh, that should be highly resistive polysilicon okay and that will take too much area so in instead of that what they are using they are using transistor and they are uh, using that transistor as a resistor okay so that is what they are trying to say from this okay